Now into stock, uh, we have a lovely little car here, a Citroen DS3 1.6 VTI D style. Uh, it's the plus version as well, a three door 2013 on a 13 plate, which it will come on. That's a private number plate and it's just waiting to go on to the uh, previous owner's new car. Cars done 35,000 thereabouts, I'll tell you exactly when we get in. Fuel economy, 37.7 urban, 62.8 extra urban, and combined is 49.6. 0 to 60 time of 9.9 .9 seconds and a top speed of 118 miles per hour out of 118 brake horsepower, 16 valve engine. Road tax 6 months, 77 pounds, 12 months is 140 and this car is MOT till the 27th of 4th, 2019. So we, we'll get it MOT'd again, it'll, it'll have a, a full 12 months MOT. Good service history, which again I'll tell you about. Um, really, really nice car, kind of a designer spec car these days. We've got kind of piano black there, white, chrome trim, diamond cut alloy wheels with black centres, uh, the contrasting door mirrors and roof as well, rear privacy glass which is kind of one piece of glass from the, from the B pillar to, to the C pillar. Electronic boot release there, rear privacy glass, wash wipe, integrated tailgate spoiler the uh, chrome ds badges ds3 badges and citroen there fair bit of room in the boot got a rear load cover split folding rear seats in the the little chrome trim there and reversing sensors in the uh, bottom of the rear spoiler i'll just take you for a ride in it you can see there it's got chrome door handles and also a chrome uh, side protective molding Remote central locking, proper key and blade. Really nice finish in the cockpit, uh, seats are nice and comfortable as you can see here. That's telling me I need some fuel. And service history uh, 13th to the 3rd, 2015 at 14,405 miles, John Wild in Citroen. 11th to the 3rd, 2016 at 16,711 miles, Vantage uh, Kendall. 5th of 5th 2017 at 22,594 Salt House Motor Services. 30th of the 4th 2018 at 26,017 Kramer Motors. And then 1st of the 12th 2018, 34,469 miles Bostock Motors. So full and up-to-date service history. The car's only done 35,075 miles now. Uh, and it really is a lovely car. It's, the Citroëns are so well finished these days. And they're really nice inside. This uh, lovely aluminium, whether it's aluminium or aluminium uh, look-alike around the gear tunnel and also on the uh, steering wheel. Let's just see if I can find it before we set off. Yep, height and reach adjustable steering wheel. If we just, not one second. If we just click that into the middle and then pull the switch down, we've got power folding door mirrors, press it again. We've got a five speed box. Again, that's got uh, the aluminium finish around it. It, it really is, uh, it's like a, a designer car. And uh, funny enough, while I've just been videoing this, a lady went past the other way um, in one in exactly the same spec with the black roof, I think it was as well and uh, they look really good on the road and just driving it up here I, I think i drove one of these a couple of years ago at the uh, smmt driver's day and i was really impressed with it then nice clear instrument display all this this piano black or gloss black whatever you want to call it inset to the dash and on the door cards here everything nice and easy to see the, carrying the piano black down right here onto the gear tunnel, round the gear tunnel. Got two power sockets there, front central armrest. Got something rattling in the glove box. It's probably, yep, it's uh, the locking wheel nut. Hopefully that won't make too much noise. If it does, I'll uh, I'll move it.
great handling around the roundabout here. Nice gear change. I've got, uh, we, we've had snow for a couple of days and uh, I've got my big boots on and I don't think the pedals in the Citroen are, are made for people with big feet or boots. So some of my gear changes may be a bit ropey, you'll have to forgive me. Washer's working fine, wipers are working great. windows doing the job Centre arm breast is a little bit too uh, high for me. That's fastened to the passenger seat. Hopefully, the passenger seat moves up and down. If it was just a bit lower, my, my arm would perfectly and my hand perfectly rest on the top of the gear stick without having to move my wrist down, which is causing an awkward gear change at the moment. But then again. I shouldn't be resting my arm on the armrest, I suppose. So you can fit a huge cup in there. There's no cup holders that I can see in the centre here, which is unusual, unless there's one in the front centre armrest. too far today we're uh, extremely busy we've got cars going out cars to pick up and uh, the day's getting away from me nice instrument display left hand side rev counter in the center you've got your speedo on the right hand side fuel gauge which isn't showing so much and your mileometer and then at the bottom of the speedo you've got your coolant temperature gauge just telling my fuel levels low again showing your miles per gallon little switch in the end here miles per gallon uh, and actually Go, go along to the next one. There's under here, there is cruise control. Of course, I can't see it. There's a, there we go, hang on. Cruise cruise on right that's it so there's a thumb wheel just see if there's a take that up to 70 that's going too fast just brake and reset it at 70 so 70 cruise on 3,000 revs, fifth gear. We'll see what it says here. Just 
see if that's also a speed limiter as well. Yeah, that's the speed limiter as well. So you can set the car to do the speed you want without you touching the accelerator and you can also set it to limit the speed you want to go to. Um, so it doesn't matter how much you press the accelerator, you can't go over that speed. The, uh, the limit's there set to, was set to 82. So we'll just take it down to, take it down to 60 and then we'll just test it. So 60 there, so we're just going to 60. No, I've not set it properly. Sorry, there you go. I've now got my foot to the floor and uh, it won't go above 60. The CD radio here. The, uh, the speakers in it are awesome. The sound's fantastic. If you like music, you'd be very pleased with the system and the, uh, the speakers in here. Nice and quiet on the motorway at motorway speeds. Uh, speed limiter off there, it's just slowing me down. It's uh, it's a car that makes you want to drive fast. Really, it's it's running away with me. Great gear change. So I just need that. That is it's actually in my way a little bit, but also I've got the seat uh, pushed forward so this camera doesn't shoot down my, the side of my face. So uh, with that seat down a bit, if it does go down, then as I say, it would be perfect. But I'll just actually move it out of the way. That's that's. I mean, that's great now. Yeah, that's, uh, I can change gear a lot better. Handbrake there, looks like it's leather bound, again with the aluminium finish. It, it really looks like a, a lot more expensive car. When you see some of the new Citroen models and some of the project cars, They've uh, really got their act together. Yep, driver's one's working fine. The uh, the diamond cut alloys and with the gloss black centre as well. The gloss black, black, of course, matching the the door mirrors and also the roof. It, it looks a real eyeful this car.
just remembered I forgot to take outside photographs of the car so uh, let's go back and do that are really nice and well padded could probably do it just going a bit further away it's a bit, yeah that's a bit better say so, yeah, I've got big working boots on and you can't just bend your ankle and go on cover the clutch or same moving from the uh, accelerators to the brake you, I've got to lift me lift my leg up like so so uh, it's just a bit uncomfortable. Even the the plastic surfaces are, are made to look kind of like carbon fibre. They're, they're serrated, and uh, matching material from the front of the seat is on the door cards, and then there's a, a bit kind of more pronounced pattern material there in the centre of the seat. thick steering wheel as well and again just it's uh, very tactile just perfect there for your thumbs to remain on the outside of the quarter to three air con switches hot and cold there automatic nice temperature display there and it also shows you where you've got uh, if you click that that's going that's pointing to the windscreen click again to your face face and feet and then all three that's your your fan there fan switch set that miles per gallon figure because uh, it was showing quite a low one but it's just been ticking over while I've been photographing it a really nice car it shouldn't last too long at the garage this once we get the photographs on and the video me
keep looking for sixth gear there. 